Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a while since I posted, and uh, I felt it was probably about time for me to uh, start doing a, uh, a vehicle walk around, um, show you all the mods that I've done to the Jeep, and uh, pretty much everything's done by, um, done by myself. A uh, few things came from the dealership, but uh, nothing uh, crazy. But I'll give you a quick uh, tour of the Big Orange, as one of my good friends Craig calls her. Um, so uh, here she is, 2015. Jeep JK, uh, Rubicon Unlimited. Um, we have uh, best top hard rock front and rear bumpers. Um, it actually comes, it came out stock up and around here, but I chopped those off with the plasma cutter. Has the XRC uh, Smitty built, uh, 9,500 uh, winch. I know a lot of people, you know, they prefer Warren over Smitty built or, you know, one's better than the other. I got to tell you, I haven't had one problem with that thing and it's gotten us out of a couple hairy situations. If you look on my channel, um, I think it's, uh, uh, God, I can't remember, the, the, the breakage, the, um, the recovery, I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of uh, my uh, YouTube videos. and. Uh, uh, the, the winch just does absolutely phenomenal, and I have no issues with it so whatsoever. So for me, the Smittybilt XRC winch uh, does just fine. Um, I, these are the stock fenders. I did a, uh, I think it's called a McLaren cut, where you cut from here and around. Took probably a half a day to do it. Uh, same inner uh, fenders. Um, I guess once they get beat up enough, um, I'll, I'll replace them, maybe put something uh, heavy duty on her. But you know, I like them. Go four wheeling, go in between some tight spaces. They fall off, put some new clips on them, no problem. You know, <laughs> I can beat the hell out of them and they uh, keep on t ticking. Here's some uh, lights that I bought at your local O'Reilly's. Uh, look like, I think, just tractor lights. Uh, took some of the old uh, fender apart, um, made a little bracket and I uh, hooked them up to the uh, uh, the wire harness that was there. Used a couple, you know, just plugs from AutoZone or uh, um, O'Reilly's, and they work great. Um, what else do we got here? We got some limb risers. I'm kind of up in the air on these things. Um, uh, they're an XRC uh, limb risers from uh, Smitty Built. I'm supposed to have a bracket that comes right here and up and attach. Um, I, obviously, I couldn't because I had this uh, light bracket here. Uh, I, they, they do some good, but I, I, maybe it's they need to be attached a little bit higher so they clear. Uh, they've helped a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I'm still on the fence whether or not they really actually do anything. And I've been through some pretty gnarly jungle down here in the Yucatan. I got a 50-inch light bar here. Uh, I got some uh, cube LEDs. Now, these are all bought off of Amazon, These the light bar, the... Uh, uh, the cubes and the uh, the bracket there. Um, I, I know Rugged Ridge makes some. Rugged Ridge, the light bar probably costs you a thousand bucks from Rugged Ridge. The entire package cost me less than 500 bucks off of Amazon. Now I know it's probably some China knockoff. Um, they're Cree LED. Uh, I also did a do-it-yourself S-Pod. It's inside. I'll open up the, the engine bay here in a second. And uh, I'll be honest with you, works great. I mean, the whole thing, uh, uh, lights, uh, 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 cube lights, bracket, and uh, do-it-yourself S-Pod was about 550 bucks. And you really can't beat that. Now, the S-Pod, which I've seen is, is pretty awesome. Excuse me. Oh, the camera's shaking here. Uh, the S-Pod is pretty awesome. has a nice mount. Um, but that's like 600 bucks right there. And um, and then you have everything. It probably costs you $1,500 to $2,000 to have everything I have in here for $500. Here is my little do-it-yourself. You can tell it's still in there. I, I got a piece of sheet metal that I'm going to put together and uh, put a nice little mount and mount it up here to the cowl so it doesn't go anywhere, so it's nice and tight. Um, uh, but I got to be honest with you, it's been sitting in there for like that for about a year and it hasn't gone anywhere. And the lights have never failed me and it's, it's done real well. Um, come over here. I have a uh, Genesis dual battery setup. 
Um, it, it's, it just works phenomenal. The only beef I have with the Genesis uh, um, uh, battery tray, and I don't know if it's the way I installed it or whatnot, but the vibrations, I mean, I torqued these bad boys down, probably 60, um, 60 pounds on each of them, and this one just kept on wanting to come out. Anyways, I gotta get a new one. All four, all the, the other three are down in there, but this one just kept on coming up. Maybe I'll use some red Loctite next time and tighten them up. So uh, anyways, that's what I got under the hood. Next uh, project I'm gonna do is probably put a snorkel in. I don't know, I'm kinda torn of whether or not I need a snorkel um, or um, maybe a Ram uh, air filter for cold in, air intake. Uh, there is a lot of dust, a lot of water down here in the Yucatan um, where I live. Uh, um, upstate side is uh, in Carson City, Nevada, a lot of dust, so definitely need that, uh, you know, get out of that, uh, that dust zone that flies right through here. Anyways, moving on. Um, I have upgraded to uh, Fox 2.0 shocks. Uh, they work great. Uh, night and day from the ProComp E, I want to say they're E9000. And uh, they really work well, especially if you're going fast over a washboard. Um, sand yeah they really do good here's here's the back back set um, I also have uh, synergy bump stops got four inch bump stops inside there I don't know if you can see them I got uh, synergy uh, sway bar um, adjustable sway bar links uh, it's hard you can't tell right now but the the JK has a natural lean and mine was leaning to the left. And it's actually leaning a little bit right now. So that's why I got these adjustable sway bar links. You'll see one right there. See how it's got about a half inch um, uh, right there in the threads. And if you come over here, this one's right up against it. So it, it pretty much evened it out. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Works great. Have no issues with driving capability. Um, these uh, tires here, great tires. I love them. Uh, they're 37 inch. Uh, by 13 and a half Toyo MTRs uh, pretty aggressive I think if I have to do it again I'm going to go with uh, the RT a little bit better for road um, and I think I can get the same out of them uh, just that these things are wearing pretty good on the on the pavement that I'm, I'm down here in Mexico so I, I'm not going to get the full full life out of them uh, here we got the XRC uh, rocker guards now, I've been on the Rubicon, I've been Moab, I've been a lot of trails on uh, in uh, the Sierras, been on the trails down here in the Yucatan. They have taken a beating. Now, I, I've, I'd like to get some new ones and maybe some, you know, Poison Spider or something that's a little bit less of a clearance dampener. But these things, you can tell right here, have taken a beating. One thing I did notice is that when you start really off-roading, and you hit these things, they're gonna get right up into your body here. You're gonna start hearing noises all over the place. So when you're dra traveling down the highway at 70 miles an hour or whatnot, you'll start hearing noise up in the pillar, okay? That's this thing, this rocker guard, hitting up against your body. So if you're hearing noises and you can't figure out what the hell it is, trust me, I figured it out. And you actually gotta jump down on here or uh, jump down on your your, your rocker guard and try to bend it down and there's no really easy way about it but they've been through hell and back and they've done their job uh, here's the back uh, bumper same thing with this it's 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 big it's a little bit bigger than I need uh, but again it's been through Moab through Rubicon through tons of trails uh, definitely has seen better days uh, but it's still there I can still tow my boat with it You'll see that uh, these had old cube LED lights on them. Terrible placement that I put on here. I lost those on White Knuckle and Moab. So they didn't last and I just have been too damn lazy to take them off. So anyways, uh, inside here, I don't know if you can see inside the wheel well here, but I got uh, new rotors and I also have um, uh, spider tracks. Uh, what are they? Spider track spacers, uh, one and a half inch spacers. Since I got the 13 and a half inch tires, you need those spacers to clear. So when you're turning, you're not rubbing up against here and you have enough clearance. 
Um, so that's one of the other reasons that I might go with the RT 37 inch RT 12 and a half. So that way I can get rid of the spacers and I can have some more clearance. Um, we'll get into the, the Jeep. I don't think I have anything. I did have a Serco roof rack on here and you guys probably seen some of my videos and I had a, uh, I had a, uh, a high lift jack right here. Went four wheeling in Campeche and was in some serious rocks and jungle. And uh, the guys told me to watch out for the, the low profile of the branches. Anyways, it broke and broke my hard top here. And so I got some fiberglass cloth and uh, a kit. And I'm going to try and fix that one of these days. It's just, it is so damn hot down here. It's hard to find the time. And if you want to take the, 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 the hard top off and drive around, you got to deal with the mosquitoes. So <laughs> kind of in a catch 22 right now. So anyways, my, my goal is I want to put, uh, Cargo Master, uh, get rid of all this, remount it, and put one of those Cargo Master Low Pro um, uh, roof racks on. Those really look tight and they're strong, and I can still get the roof rock uh, roof rack uh, um, uh, off the Jeep with that. So that's going to be one of the next things I put on here is that Cargo Master roof rack and some of those Cargo Master uh, uh, cleats so you can get up on top of your Jeep. Get into the Jeep. If there's one thing. I see this right here. If anybody has seen one of my videos, I think it's like the second to the last video that I posted, we lost this wheel driving around a corner. And uh, I didn't know if it was the spacer or what, but I, I think I just come to the conclusion that I did not torque the wheels, uh, the, the, the uh, lug nuts down when I did, a, um, uh, when I did the uh, um, four wheel uh, brake conversion. So, um, so anyway, my wife's here. Hello. Anyways, so I carry this, this torque wrench in so I can torque this thing down. I've been checking it literally every 15 miles because you don't want the damn tire fl uh, flying off when uh, you got your family in the car. So anyways, that's why I have my torque wrench underneath here so I can check the, um, the lug nuts. So one of the best things that I have ever bought were these seat covers what the hell is the damn name uh here it is seat saver i've taken these seat covers off twice to wash them and it is literally like brand new underneath these seats now right here you get a little dust and whatnot has a nice rubicon uh, insignia on on the uh, stock seat here but these things have been a lifesaver especially with kids they're waterproof they're great. I mean, they don't look that pretty, but they have done the job, especially with two kids. I got a, I got an eight-year-old and a and a, a ten-year-old. You can see I got uh, Star Trek in here. The kids like watching that. Anyways, and there's crap all over here half the time. So, definitely worth the money. If you guys, I mean, I want to say the whole thing cost me like three hundred dollars, worth every penny. Okay. Come back up in here. I got my. Cobra uh, 29. Uh, I'm not thrilled with the mounting space on here, but it works. Um, it's I got two screws into the top here, and it uh, and it does. And I've been everywhere with it, and it's held. Uh, I'm gonna get a. Um, I'd like to get a uh, mounting bracket up here, put it up uh, up top, and then I can't remember the name of the company, but there's this uh, company that has. Uh, I want to say it's like Voltec or something like that. And it has this nice little uh, rack system on the top here and you can put ram mounts on it and it's really slick um, got my ham radios up there nice out of the way got my knives over there uh, what else do I got now you want to see the worst accessory I have it's this thing right here this is a cell phone connector that goes on the air conditioning duct here I put this phone on here, the one I'm recording on, and the thing flies here, there, whatever. Worst piece of junk ever. But, and it's still there, I'm still using the damn thing. So, um, got the uh, standard nav in here. Now, I, here's the S-Pod. Uh, this is a Daystar product. And uh, Daystar sells it, I believe, in uh, a tan color and this uh, uh, gray color. You cut these, uh, they have them pre-prescribed. Um, uh, you just cut them out with an X-Acto knife and you put your uh, rocker uh, um, rocker switch panels in there. 
um, it's, it's nice. There's a, 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 a deal on uh, YouTube. It's like do-it-yourself S-Pod. Took me like a day to do it. It was awesome. Real, really, uh, really was good. Okay, so I think that's about it. We'll go in the back here and uh, got some a little bit oh shit handles. I see a lot of guys with these mods right here with these nice stiff uh, handles. These work just great. Haven't had a complaint. Um, let's go and check out the. Okay, well here's the the antenna. Now uh, I, I do a little radio. Uh, ham radio uh, call sign is KE7KPS I got a ham license if there is a worse place to have an antenna it's right here between the window and the tire but that's where they put it uh, uh, you see a lot of these guys like Randy Dahl who's in Australia I subscribe to his YouTube channel you'll see a lot of these Aussies and other guys they put their antennas right in front and uh, it's the it's the best place to do it uh, you get the best signal the other best place to put it is literally right here. Okay, you're just you're not getting the interference that you do when you're behind here, S smack dab. You got your big old uh, hard top in the way. You got your tailgate. You got this big tire in the way. It is literally the worst place to put an antenna. But that's where I got mine right now. So one of these days I'll change out the bumper in the front and we'll put a new one in. Okay, so. I got a lot of gear. This is a kid's bags from swim practice. Move that out of the way. So here we got a little first aid kit. Comes in handy. We've used that quite a bit. Uh, just undo. Take it off. It's great. Okay. Plug it, put it back in. And I'll, I'll clint that down. Now I got a Vi Air, air compressor. Thing works great. I do have the mount for inside the engine bay. I'm just torn. I don't know if I want to put it in the engine bay or not. I'm afraid that if I do go in deep water, I might ruin it. Um, uh, down here in the Yucatan, I've gone into some pretty deep water. Uh, so I just keep it in here for right now. Maybe I might put it somewhere else. Um, but it's been, it's been great. I have no complaints and it's really not that big a deal just to pick it up and move somewhere else. It is nice to have it mounted and you flip the switch on the panel and it, and it works. But I don't know, one of these days. One of the best things I bought was this ARB fridge. Uh, I'm sure you've heard a lot about it. There's a lot of other manufacturers out there. This one just works great for us. I believe it's a 50 quart. Um, we've frozen, we had ice cream on the trail. Um, I've kept meat cold. Uh, it's great. Now, um, got some waters in there. Uh, now I've seen, I think it's uh, Jeep Kitchen. The guy's done a great job. And he's got these 500 pound uh, sliders. He's got it all sectioned off and uh, really a slick little operation. Pull out and you have your, your uh, uh, burner. You can cook and it's just really nice. I bet it's expensive, it's like 2,000 bucks. So until I get a little bit more cash, I'm gonna have to hold off on that. Got my uh, every Jeep that if you plan on going wheeling at all, you need a fire extinguisher. You never know when you're gonna have something burn up. You don't want to run into that situation where you're the guy and something's happening and your battery terminals short out and you have a fire. So make sure you have one in here. Now this thing I bought at uh, Home Depot down here in Carmen and uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's, it's, the pros is I got all my crap in here. I got everything. I, the only thing I don't have is a, is a high lift jack or a nice um, uh, bottle jack. Um, I have my high lift uh, over in the, that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, let's see, over in that house over there, I have it off to the side, so I need to go and get it, and I have the mounts for the hood, um, I'm going to put the high lift jack back on the hood, just so I have something in case something happens. Uh, the high lift jack isn't necessarily exactly great for changing tires, because you're really only going to lift up the body and you got to jack it way up to get the tire off the ground. You need like a bottle jack to get underneath the uh, uh, on the axle and jack it up. That's why those high lift jacks are dangerous. But since I don't have one and I don't have a, a, a large jack in the Jeep with me, I'm going to put that back on because when I lost the tire down over here, I had a caller, um, Havid, uh, one of the guys that works for us, 
over here and he had to come to the house get my floor jack and and bring it down over to the 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 beach where i was to to, to change the tire because the little jack that they gave you uh, give you here just doesn't cut it so anyways make a long story short i did not have the jack in here or on my hood or on the roof so i was screw blued and tattooed at the time so now to, to access this thing i gotta literally you know let me see if i can do this sorry put the phone down i literally how to pull that back undo the latch the latch and I got my stuff in here I got a little tent here got WD-40 for all your little squeaks and everything you got those polyurethane bushings and I know they say squeak and stuff it's a Jeep but this works wonders tools tools these these bags right here 10 bucks on Amazon I think it's 10 bucks 10 or 12 bucks they are awesome okay really nice hammer you never know where you're gonna need it i got recovery gear in here gloves blanket you name it the thing's about i don't know about 100 pounds but it's got everything in here like i said it does not have any jacks i don't have i do have the stock jacket in here but uh, i think this weekend i'm gonna go ahead and put back uh the high lift jack on the hood um, it's actually a good place to put it. The, the bad thing is, is that when you do your windshield wipers, the fluid hits the damn uh, uh, high lift jack. So you can't wash your windows. And I mean, otherwise it's actually works out great. No noise, it's, uh, um, it didn't obstruct uh, my view at all, but it's really, you know, <laughs> you wanna wash your windows. So anyways, <laughs> that's my rig, 2017 or excuse me, 2015 Jeep JK Unlimited. Oh, I know what I didn't tell you. I do have a, uh, come underneath here. I have a Flow Master American Thunder exhaust. Okay, we took out the old exhaust, put that in there. Um, we ended up just cutting the T off right, right here, and then sliding it over. It was a pain in the ass getting that top bolt, the uh, the stock bolt out. So we put that in there. So, anyways, put the the new uh, exhaust on. Sounds great. Then I have the Evo skid plates. First time I was going on the Rubicon, literally like three days. Here's the transmission cover, oil pan cover. Okay, so it was literally like, sorry for the sweating, it was literally like three or four days before my first Rubicon, and I had literally just bought this rig, and uh, had the, the dealer plates on, and uh, my good buddy Craig, who calls calls uh, my Jeep uh, Big Orange, which is, I'm going to stick with it, uh, said, do you have any uh, skid plates? And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a Rubicon, of course it has skid plates. He's like, no, 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 real skid plates. So, and I'm like, you know, I just bought the badass Jeep and whole nine. So I go and look underneath the Jeep and I'm like, holy shit, there's no sk uh, skid plates. Excuse the language, apologize. So I went on the websites and the forums and uh, the Evo skid plate uh, came up. So for about 350 bucks, I think I bought it from Northridge 4x4 and they, I had it overnighted, got right to the house. And I installed it the day before I went on my first Rubicon trip. And I gotta tell you, thank God I did. I mean, I think I have a, I'm missing about a gallon of uh, gas in my gas tank from a boulder I hit on my first trip. And so instead of 18 gallons, I'm only filling up to about 16 and a half, 17 gallons. But thank God I bought those uh, skid plates. It, they are worth every uh, uh, penny, okay? Uh, that same trip, I uh, pulled back my uh, rear differential. So you have your stock Dana 44 differentials and I peeled it back. And you can see I got a Terraflex, uh, nice thick uh, uh, diff cover and uh, it's been holding strong since. And I've been over a lot of stuff and, and uh, it, it works well. I know that there's ARB and there's Poison Spider and you know, uh, everybody has their preference, but you know, do your research, get what works and what's in your price point. And you know, uh, this old girl, the big orange is 
done me and my family really good. It's done everything that we wanted it to do. We want to get into a little bit more overlanding. We love it, you know, and uh, I think she looks pretty the way she is. She's got a couple little dents. Or the last trip where I took the the uh, the roof rack off, uh, broke uh, the door handle here. I got, you can't see it because of the dust or the dirt, but there's a nice little shiner right here, dent. But that's what a Jeep's for. You know, I got uh, a dent right here. Got a little bend here I got to pull out still. But that's what a Jeep's for, you know? Have memories, you know, with the kids. I have my little girl. She comes and she four wheels around the property here uh, with me. We have a blast with it. So, anyways, that's my... Uh, that's our 2015 Jeep. We love it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a, uh, a like, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it, and let me know if any comments or suggestions that you think we should do to the Jeep. Take care.